This is another quick take. It is actually on a Cherry keyboard. I'm not sure if they still make these or not. It's model ML4100 USB CYA. This is actually a mini keyboard and surprisingly has the infamous Cherry switches uh, inside of it. Um, I'm not actually going to take any of the keys off right now, but it actually has a nice feel to it for, for I mean a lot of people don't like the uh, black switches but this one has a good response and it is a low profile and for a low profile keyboard it's definitely clicky and it definitely feels pretty good now why did I get this well I got this because of this this obviously you can't use the keys and I wanted something small that kind of resembled the size of this and I didn't want to go too small so I can obviously plug this into the the side of this if I want to do any type of uh, any type of keyboard action on this uh, mini C64 I'm not gonna do a review on this per se I may later on but there's so many reviews about it out there uh, it's just the C64 mini it's the American edition uh, which would be the second version I believe they also supposedly came out with a maxi but I don't know if that was ever released in the US but uh, neat little unit uh, more for nostalgia than anything and I do have a USB with some extra games that I had put on it but that for another time back to the keyboard Again, great feel. Uh, it's got a few different functions. On and off the F11 and um, F12 key, which is rarely used, as far as I know, is, is located with a function uh, thing here. Let's see if we can actually get the keys off. And I don't have my key puller handy, but I do have my handy dandy. Um, let's see, I want to go somewhere where this will do minimal damage because of the way I'm doing this, but we'll just carefully pop that sucker off. And these keys are very reminiscent in style to the other keyboards I've done, uh, which were the Keychron keyboards. Uh, well, maybe a little smaller. I'm not even sure if maybe the key, like if I took one of these off, oops, and try to put it on here, would it fit? Yeah, I guess it's slightly different size. Same concept though with the two little uh, insert deals. But this is a very nice keyboard if you just want something small and you want to use it for, for like a C64 Mini or if uh, you got a, a small device, it is a nice keyboard. It is strictly wireless. Uh, again, it, this is an older model that I found on eBay and actually retrobrighted it, cleaned it all up and made it basically look brand new. Whether or not I'll be using this a lot in the future, I don't know, but it takes up very little space. So it's, it's a great keyboard and I can't give it two thumbs up just because it's missing the keypad and I really do like having the keypad on the side of the keyboard. Um, but other than that, I give it a thumbs up.